in putting together a card like this, in creating these matchups, of course you're going to look at uh, accomplishments, uh, skills, and uh, the length and, uh, and totality of, a, of an athlete's career. You know, that's normal. Uh, but when it comes to a show like this, all those things, as great and as important as they are, the one thing that I looked at most was, do they have a certain spark, a certain fire inside their heart that would never give up, is, is not here to quit, but to always keep coming forward, no matter how difficult, no matter how dangerous, no matter how much blood has been shed. I know that every single athlete that has been picked for this will, will give everything they've got. Yes. Um, Fighters like Funaki Masukatsu, uh, Suzuki Minoru, uh, Sakuraba, Kazushi, everybody knows their names. Everybody knows that they are legends in professional wrestling and mixed martial arts. I know this, you know this, and that's all for a good reason. But as much as you've seen them before, you've seen all their accomplishments and their victories, their championships, I know that there's even something in them still that you have yet to see, but that this show, Bloodsport Bushido, can bring out of them. That you can see a version of an athlete like Funaki, Sakuraba, Suzuki, who you think you know front to back, that you've seen everything that they have to offer. When you see them in this ring, you will see another level to each of these legendary athletes. And uh, you know, choosing Choosing athletes of such high skill and high caliber means that I have to choose suitable opponents. So as great as they are, there is no expectation, there is no guarantee that any of them are going to come out as victors. People in this room, mm -hmm. so what do you expect for those kind of the other parts? I know that people are surprised to see uh, these women's uh, fighters or Quentin Rampage Jackson, Mike O'Hearn. I know Mike O'Hearn, who would ever expect to catch him in a, in a ring like this? But that's, that's part of what makes this show what it is. I can vouch that within them is the thing that is necessary to thrive in this environment. Whatever they've done beforehand is no guarantee to how successful they'll be in, in this Bloodsport Bushido ring, but I know that, that each and every single one of these athletes is going to shock you from, from what you see out of them. Uh, each one has their own reason for wanting to step into this ring, but each one is going to shine in their own way. Roots, and they, they have the unique characters. Uh, what do you expect for the tournament? Well, with the tournament, for me, I believe that all combat sports um, have the tournament format and it's incredibly important towards kaktogi uh, and pro wrestling in general. So I felt like it was an important addition to have into this card. But what it also does is it, it pushes these athletes to their limits by having to compete more than once in one night, to compete against different opponents in each of their bouts should they succeed in their first. Uh, brings these other challenges that are not just so much physical but also as mental and spiritual. Uh, I know every single athlete picked in this tournament is capable of having their hand raised and coming home the champion, but thinking about it and seeing what happens on the night, now that's the difference. And that's why we put these things together. That's why we create these tournaments. I know everybody is familiar with these athletes and you know, even if you're not, you're going to be afterwards, but uh, how they perform on that night, how they match up with whatever difficulties arise, injuries they may acquire in the first bout, uh, fatigue or just simply will, you know, are, are they feeling a little weak in the mind, a little weak in the heart, but yet are they still going to show up? Are they going to show up into that final match? Well, we'll see. About from as an otaku? As, as an otaku? <laughs> it's pretty cool. You can say that you have 
Masakatsu Funaki in your, in your event, uh, Minoru Suzuki, uh, yeah, that you can call Rampage Jackson and he says, well, you want me to fight where? Psh, sign me up. It's great. Um, yeah, but you should. You should feel that way about things that you love. Um, always keep a space in your heart to be an otaku about the things that you like.